Sydney FC and Melbourne Victory met in last year's grand final, but today only one will be going through to the grand final, the other will be eliminated. This is W League Elimination Semi-Final number two, Sydney FC and the Melbourne Victory. That's probably the first time I've seen Lisa Devana get the better of Caitlin Ford. She beat her on the inside then. You know uh, she doesn't want to take her down the left because it's just speed on speed then and she's taken her inside and, and beaten her. See some fresh legs coming on for Ella Mastrantonio now. Emily Holbert will get the opportunity in the number 18 shirt. Mastro Antonio, it's been quite the season for her, hasn't it? It has. She's had a great game today. She can uh, be very proud of what she's contributed. She's She's been a workhorse in defence and definitely been what they needed going forward. Pelias seems OK in a pretty saddle sore kind of way. The crowd appreciate her toughness to persevere here. And the right call it, from the ref. Yeah, it me. is going to be a Melbourne free kick. As identified by Sarah Walsh, spot on, as always. And there is a four-woman wall. And, well, a couple of targets at the far post and one at the near. Beatty Goad might have a lead to deal with here. Caitlin Ford's been given a yellow card for that uh, tackle on Lisa Devana and possibly rightly so as she's uh, taken her from behind. Barnes lays it off for Fishlock. Shot is just missing to the left. Cleverly worked set piece. Everyone was ready for the ball to be put into the mix. You're Instead right. it was teed up for Fishlock. Clever, clever set play. Everybody was waiting for that ball to be knocked in there and uh, no one better to get on the end of that. Two shots that have just missed left for Fishlock. And there's an illegal play from Goad, I think, on Harrison. Fishlock came away with it. And it's called back for a Sydney FC free kick. I'm sure there was too much in that. This yesterday and today both, the desperation of a grand final berth versus elimination is evident in all of the body clashes that are happening. I mean, it's it's like there's no tomorrow because there isn't if you lose. Rollison hangs it up at the far post. Lots of blue shirts there. But Clifford, possibly the tallest player on the park, couldn't get a play on it. It's hard for uh, Rollison um, taking a, a free kick from there. The wind's actually picked up a lot more. So judging that wind and, and how hard you actually drive the ball in. Who is going to host the grand final? Who is going to be eliminated? They're 2-2 at the moment. Melbourne have just started to ease themselves back into it, largely led by Devanna's hunger. And here's a couple of... Big lead from Catley down the left for the early touches from Emily Holbert come to naught. She may yet get on the end of this. Jess Fishlock's in the vicinity as well. If there's that many troops central for Melbourne, there must be some room somewhere for Sydney. Beatty Goad comes and pinches it. And who can she pick out in the middle? Stepping, going herself, holds it up for Samuelson's run. But there was just a tangle of defending feet there that stopped that from finishing. Goad, again, can't bisect the defender. Falls for Barnes, Fishlock for Goad. Takes a touch, has an option in Devanna, picks her out with the left foot. Devanna running at defenders. Samuelson. Samuelson shoots! A oh, great save! Casey Dumont has denied a sizzler. The right hand, full length, pushing it wide. Unbelievable combination play here from Melbourne Victory and then finally finishing it off with an excellent shot from Samuelson. That's been saved by Dumont. She's been excellent today as well. Oh, it's a Full keeper stretch. stay out. You, you won't see many 2-2s two where you'll see more saves from a keeper. Both ends, they've been getting it done. Sizzling shot from Samuelson. Melbourne are pressing back here. They were getting bossed for a while. Now, checker. Sort of gets a piece on it. It's sent in by Holbert. Back out. Humble has a shot. She already has a goal. Why not? Catley decides to 
go forward and find Fishlock. Who dinked it in, looking for Friend. Oh, oh, penalty has been awarded for high feet, I assume. Oh, I need to see this again. This is a big, big call from the ref. No hesitation from the referee. Sydney with head in hands. Rollison is devastated with a grand final spot on the line. What's happened is this here? a penalty? Oh, she's called for a handball from uh, Caitlin Ford. So see if we can get another angle on that. I don't think we might be able to. We'll see the shot first of all from Lauren Barnes. A penalty for possibly a grand final berth. The American with the left foot scores! Melbourne victory three, leads Sydney two. They are in front in the race to host the grand final next week. Let's check out this free kick. Excellent, ta well taken, just very clinical and hit it where she's needed to, but uh, DeMont didn't really make a move to either way. Uh, is this a penalty? It's skied. Is it a handball? Yeah, yeah I'm Most happy definitely. with it. The referee saw it. See here. Take us through it, Sarah. Oh, it's it. I mean, from that other angle that we just saw before, it it seemed to have hit her right hand and, and come back in. It's a, it's a big call, but that's what they're paid to do. I can't feel an injustice has been done. Having seen that replay, there is hand to ball rather than ball to hand for mine. And so, well, I think the referee. Hey, Jakovic can take a bow. I think she's 100% right and has made a big call at a critical moment. And with all that happening, we've seen Perry come on for uh, Amy Harrison and she's going to add a different dimension to this Sydney FC team. She loves to get up the line and, and get her crosses in. And, and I think it might have been also because BD Goad's really just been dominating down this right-hand side. The toing and froing of this final. Elise Perry. Oh, it's interesting that she opted to turn her back on a, a National Cricket League title match against Victoria today. I'd be very surprised if a ball was bowled in that game over at North Sydney Oval. Meanwhile, at the other end, danger for Melbourne. Kerr gets a shot away. She wants a penalty. Davey has it covered comfortably. Melbourne survive. Kerr barks at the referee. I didn't see an illegal intervention. Do you, Sarah Walsh? I didn't really see too much here, no. Not at all, really. See, it's been deflected on and... No, not at all. That's just a legitimate contest between defender and attacker. And there's now an appeal for a back pass. Jess Humble has missed kicked the ball that has gone to Brianna Davey. Those are always controversial. <laughs> the crowd is begging for anything. Now they want time wasting. Strap yourselves on. Oh. Strap yourselves in this uh, last 17 minutes. It is not over yet. Look at the crowd. They they have seen enough seesawing in this match to know that anything is possible in those remaining minutes. Steph Catley with the Melbourne advantage and now Holbert. In the centre of the park. She's been heavily involved since getting here. She's been excellent. Yeah. So she's come on, had lots of touches on the ball and, and made sure that she's won those balls that she needed to. Fishlock, similarly excellent after recovering from that injury, or if not recovering, at least burying that injury. She dinks one forward for Samuelson, who spent her share of time forward. Oh, she slipped at the critical moment. You know what? That corner right there is where probably five of the six slips have happened this afternoon. It's obviously running to that corner a little boggy down there, so Samuelson is not rewarded. She'll have to hurry back in defence because Sydney have it in the centre circle. From the goal scorer, Karmas. Nowhere really to go at the moment. She finds Pelias, who appears to have recovered from that back injury as well. Now infield. Kete to try and thread the needle. Davy quick, has it covered. Waits for Bolger to come forward and force her to pick the ball up, which she does. Gives Bolger a bit of extra... Feels like the rain's about to tumble again here. It's suddenly gone dark at Jubilee. And a goal advantage, if it does, will be perhaps more than a goal advantage. Here is Friend for Samuelson. Now Beattie Goad. And 
the ball is caressed for Holbert into open space. She's got room in front of us, squares it, Devanna onto the right, shoots, save, the follow-up is cleared. There was a lot of intent from Friend. And on Sydney FC's part, they're very lucky that that landed on uh, Lisa Devanna's right foot because we all know what she does on her left. And she's played with two defenders here, Clifford's come out, a little bit too uh, hasty for my liking. Still Melbourne with it, and Devanna again, and Friend in the mix. But Sydney are there, and Karmas hits it to some open space for Ford to go long and central for Kerr, who touches it dangerously up. And that was a heart-in-mouth moment. That's a keeper who has to know where her box begins and ends because she was in very real danger of taking that ball outside the area, which is an automatic penalty. She just stayed in there long enough to gather the ball in inside the box. All's well that ends well for Melbourne and Davey, but that was a dangerous moment. That's not really going to be good enough for Sydney in this moment. They're going to need Sam Kerr to hold that ball up for them. You know, they've done a lot of defending in the last couple minutes and they need to be able to give time for the midfielders to push forward because they've been so deep in their half. Give time for Elise Perry to get in, get in position. She takes the throw and finds Kerr off Samuelson. Now Pelias. There's a lot of space out there on the right. They go to Ford. Cannon will score a goal if they let her get forward enough. And she takes it toward the corner, has some support over there. And Sydney still just barely hanging on to it. Oh, it's dinked in. Surely Kerr is offside. She is. The flag is up. She was almost camped in the keeper's pocket. Uh, drifted offside. Probably didn't need to. No, it's not great from uh, Sam Kerr here. She has the ability to be able to see the line of defence and <laughs> I, she might have been coming back from uh, her initial run but didn't get back in time and I know Stadge's favourite uh, saying is rest in, um, rest in good areas and that's a bad area. I imagine we won't see Caitlin Ford finish this game out at right back. It's only a matter of time before he pushes her forward. Goad. We have been singing her praises and she continues to deliver for Melbourne. Surely this is the biggest game of her young career, <laughs> the W League semi-final. And she's risen to the occasion. Samuelson for Devanna. Probably not the biggest game in Lisa Devanna's career by contrast, but uh, she treats all the big ones like they matter. It's funny you say that. I uh, spoke to her before the game and... Yeah. She just she gets just as nervous for these games and uh, Matilda's international matches and and that's a sign of a, a great player because if you don't have nerves it's you're missing something in your match. Barnes with a free kick and the left foot at the far post. Devanna is there, but the defensive head is good enough. Corner Melbourne. We may yet have another substitution here for Sydney. Chloe Lagazzo warming up. Lauren Barnes trots over. They have the advantage and fewer than 12 minutes of regulation time remaining. So no real hurry. She delivers near post. Oh, an unconvincing punch from the keeper and it's cleared with a header off the line by perhaps the Perry. least Perry. Yeah. And Steph Catley goes back and cleans up in defence for Melbourne. See, uh, coaches have an extra conundrum here with um, the choices of substitutes. We'll see Chloe Legazzo come on here and uh, will, he, will he take a defender off knowing that possibly if they do get a goal, it could go to extra time. Mm. Excellent point. And I just have a feeling like there's some chapters still to be written in this final 10 minutes. Here's Devano going for a run. Holbert tried to give it back to her. The defenders said no, and it will be a Melbourne throw. So here comes that substitution. It's Kete who will be leaving the field. She's been quiet today um, by her own standards. Hasn't really been uh, given the opportunity to be able to pick up the ball and, and do as she likes down that right-hand side. But... Uh, 
doesn't necessarily look thrilled about that substitution, but Legazzo with the fresh legs sprints into position. Throw for Melbourne. And Sydney get there in numbers. Clifford over halfway. The sprint is on for Taylor. But Humble is there. You might just add, Sydney have been in this position plenty of times before semi-finals. They have the players and the experience to be able to, to get one back here. Mm. And if they do, it's 15 minutes each way, regardless of who scores. No golden goal. All square after 15 each way, and we go to penalties. Here's Devanna. She's onside this time, and she's got defenders retreating one way, and then the next. Devanna to the goal line, cuts it back, has goad central, doesn't quite reach her, and Holbert can't win the foot race with Pelias. Didn't see goad out there, and then she could have had a, an easy ball out to her, but check out uh, Fishlock's run here into the box, making sure that she needs the, has the support. Everybody knows when Devanna's down there. She's on a left. It's going to be a, an early ball in. It's been changed up there, but some hard work from Fishlock. In doing that, Fishlock takes three defenders with her, so the cutback's on. It's just, that's a coaching manual play from Fishlock. Beautiful. It's been, a, it's been an issue for Melbourne uh, victory with Devana being uh, so creative down the left with a pace, and there's been a lot of times she's run out of options when she actually does beat that player. So I know uh, f you can see Fishlock there has made sure she's where she needed to be. Here she is just getting a slight touch on a ball and she's still in the contest. Karmas did well for a moment and still it's not clear who will come away with it. That's Legazzo in there for a couple of early touches and now Barnes has the space to get it out of immediate danger and Catley pushes forward. Holbert's a commanding presence in there in that midfield sort of holding role, distributing role. And Catley now gets well forward and has some space in front of her. Steph Catley, the captain, eventually comes to the defenders. Samuelson gets a foot in, though, and will hold on to the ball. Samuelson, what's on? Stands, goes goal line, tries to go behind Elise Perry, gets something of a cross in, but the defenders are there in enough numbers to take it out of danger. And Kerr goes forward for Taylor, who has to go well back her own side of halfway before picking out Legazzo. Barnes needed to intervene there, otherwise Bolger was free down the right. And a couple of desperation plays, as one would expect in the final 10 minutes of a game that will eliminate one side and send the other. Never mind, send you to the grand final, give you the opportunity to host the grand final next week. You see a couple of players at the moment in back play, uh just getting their breaths in and, and really tired. Sam Kerr especially, she's over on her haunches. She's done a lot of running today. Had De to with Samuelson being more active in attack. Devanna off on another run. Takes on three and four defenders. It falls well. The flag stays down. Friend is in the box. A oh, masterful piece of defending. Waiting for the keeper to come. Look at that. Holding off the attacker who for a long time had better position on it. And just said, come and take it, Casey. I've got her under control. It was great work from uh, Caitlin Ford. Who have we got down here, Lisa Devanna, Devanna. I think, yeah. She's okay, I think. Let's see, see if it was her ankle. Uh, Calm has collected a low on that foot, I think. Yeah. Nothing too serious. Uh, she's, she's up and walking about. Up and at him. And Melbourne victory. Melbourne Victory need to be careful. They need to play this game out, play it how they've played the whole second half and not go into their shells. That's when Sydney will really take over. They're doing pretty well at keeping this ball in the attacking half, though. It's hard to lose from there, and they're doing it well at the moment. Here it is for Samuelson. He's been immense today. Really good. Sure, she's done a defensive work, but she's done plenty of attacking as well. Goad for Samuelson. Now that, uh, that point that you just made, that really takes uh, the sting out of Sam Kerr's game. When she knows she has defensive duties, knows she needs to get back, she's in two minds whether or not she should push forward, and that plays with a striker's mind. Samuelson with the throw, picks out Goad. She's in the box. Oh, nice defending again. It's Rollison on this occasion, who had the superior body position, and they play it nicely out from the back. And get it over halfway for Taylor. 
Taylor, a long way from the strike zone and needing to find something in the next five minutes in order to force this to extra time. Well, that won't, won't help Sydney, her being back in her, in her own half. She needs a midfielder making that run in and bringing, uh, taking the ball there. Kerr for Bolger, but Checker is there in defence. And now it starts to get desperate for Sydney. Where is the equaliser coming from? Kerr caresses into a dangerous area. It's sitting in the penalty area. Kerr to follow up her own shot. Takes a deflection off Checker. And Davey will be able to gather it in. So Sam Kerr certainly willing and trying. But could it be? Three versus four in the grand final. Brisbane is already there. They finished in fourth. Melbourne is leading this game. And they finished third. Sydney dominated much of this season before Canberra just pipped them late in the season for the Premiership. Could it be that Sydney comes away with nothing or are they going to score right here? Jody Taylor couldn't get the final touch as Davey went hard at her. They've conceded the corner but not the goal. Here you can see the contest between attacker and goalkeeper. At this point, the attacker looks to have it, and Davey really just flung a foot at it in the end, and it was enough, but it could have ended differently. The crowd trying to lift Sydney. Time is against them now. They have a set piece, a corner. Can they equalise? It's hung up in the penalty area. Kerr takes it on the arm and then crosses back across the face of goal where Polias will let it run played back in charged down and Devanna has it with really only one defender in front of her oh but the second defender came in the form of Clifford and did exceptionally well they did very well both defenders one held her position to force Devanna back infield the other came from the clouds to take the ball away from her so Sydney have earned this attacking foray down the left through Rollison beats Goad who came hard two others come at her now Samuelson wins out Goad for Samuelson Melbourne weathering a heavy storm at the moment Bolger for Sydney Polias now Ford Ford gets it back Sydney need to find a way through Ford takes it on herself dinks it to the outside here comes Sydney FC but here comes Steph Catley in defense doing a superb job still the cross is away though and Davey can come and take it away Sam Kerr was again at the far post with the header but Davey was able to stop the ball from reaching her and she just gets it long and out of danger and says we can't lose from here Devanna tries to pinch a cheap one from Rollison won't get it Sydney now with only two minutes of regulation time remaining there have been a couple of substitutions but no real long-term injuries so there will not be a lot of time to be added on Polias for Sydney surely they can't come away from this season empty-handed after dominating for much of it here goes Bolger Rejected by Samuelson, who sits in her pocket. Polias. Melbourne are happy to force them back out to halfway. Rollison for Bolger. She's trying to make it happen, but Fishlock has legally stolen it. And now, surely, we're playing advantage. We are. And, well, an advantage has been given because it's been nicked by Devanna, who's behind a defender. Devanna shifts back onto the left, and it's saved. That was for the grand final and Lisa Devanna has been denied. Now Sydney attempt to turn them around and Samuelson quietens things down with a critical defensive header and Goad gets it out over the sideline so everyone can breathe. Lisa Devanna had the opportunity to bring down the curtain on Sydney's season and to host a grand final but Casey Dumont kept the Harbourciders in the game. And now, Clifford for Sydney. Surely only minutes remaining for them. We will see how much time is added on. Brianna Davey slows it down before sending it over halfway for Devanna, who is, well, was for a long time the lone player in the attacking half for Melbourne. They have the advantage, they need players behind the ball and they only have 30 seconds of regulation time remaining. Barnes, infield for Devanna. 
Devanna. She'd love a goal to put it to sleep. Instead, she hits it to Catley, who's all alone on the left. And with room to move, she puts it back into the mix. And again, it's hit. It there must be a lot of players central because there was room on Melbourne's left and there's room on Sydney's left. But Barnes has it for Melbourne. She has targets infield. What can she do? Devanna provides a lead and holds it up. Show some tricks. Barnes, Devanna. This is soaking up time. Four minutes to be played. Melbourne with a one goal advantage. And Devanna loses her touch on it in taking it to the corner. And Perry with the throw for Rollison. They need to go a long way and ask some hard questions of Melbourne. And they attempt to do so now. Clifford. Their season in the balance. Finds Perry left. Who will do well to control this and does do well to control it. But Barnes comes in and steals it. And a legal tackle is the ruling. Perry got all ball. Barnes is still down. Fishlock hangs on to it for a long time. And that surely can't be a legal tackle. Jess Fishlock had lost control of the ball. It had just run away from her and she led with the studs and yep the referee says that is a yellow card legazo is okay so we'll have a look fishlock sits run away from her and in the contest for the ball it's not quite studs up but certainly knees out legs forward hard to argue that yellow card that will wind down a bit more time two and a half minutes remaining in sydney season unless they can find something from this set piece both coaches check their watches elise perry standing over the ball all of the targets are in the penalty area bodies bashing she delivers to the far post it's hanging it's going Kerr back into the mix and samuelson gets it safely over the line clever header back in from kerr she almost bought an opportunity for her team samuelson prepared to concede the corner perry has the long run over to take it time ticking down but they're in the right part of the field and they have another set piece perry far post it's hanging it's not claimed it's loose and there is bolger taking a shot I thought it might have taken a deflection from fishlock but it has been ruled a goal kick and a relieving one so there is the ball not quite dealt with although there was the punch from brianna davy now there's just a half glimpse here and yeah one could mount an argument fishlog did get a touch on that but melbourne are very happy to see that they have the opportunity to take a goal kick wind down the clock they have just a minute to survive to host the grand final sydney have but a minute to do likewise or their season is over devanna takes it to the corner and slows things down she knows the situation she has the experience she wants to soak up the clock and it's going to be a melbourne throw 45 seconds to survive sydney fc the body language is not good they can't believe they're about to see their season evaporate they have been the benchmark of this w league season and yet the melbourne victory so lackluster last week are on the verge of hosting a grand final and avenging last year's grand final loss the champions of last season are on the rack as fishlock puts it over the sideline says you can have a throw because you've got 10 seconds they go about 80 meters clifford attempts to do that but barnes intercepts and that is full time the celebrations on the melbourne victory bench they are hosting a grand final they avenge last year's grand final defeat and what looked to be a fairy tale season for sydney fc has wound up with them being pipped for the premiership late in the season and eliminated from the championship game next week. Melbourne Victory 3 have snatched it over Sydney FC 2. The grand final is going to Victoria.